Whenever I wash and deep condition my hair and everything, I always do it in sections and I always braid my hair up after I deep condition and after I rinse it out. So yeah, I'm starting with four sections. They're not super special or anything. I also used a microfiber towel. That is a must. And this is one from Diva Curl, which I will link below. So I have this big satin scrunchie. I'm just gonna take this and put all of my hair up except for one section so I can work one section at a time. For my leave-in, I'm going to be using the Bohemian Collection from All Things O Natural. This is the scent um, Sweet Orange. So I use a pretty generous amount of this. That's just getting started, but. I'm just gonna gently rake this product through. Make sure that it's coated from root to tip. Okay, and I always like to make sure, especially in the winter time, that I'm coating the ends pretty well. The ends of your hair are the oldest part of your hair, so they tend to get dry faster and break faster, so you always wanna make sure to take extra care of them. For the second part, I'm going to seal in my moisture with this hair and body butter, also by All Things O Natural. And I'm just gonna take some of this and I'm gonna warm it up in between my hands. I'm just gonna do the praying hands method pretty much. And then I'm just gonna go in and kinda mostly focus on my ends. So now I'm just gonna take smaller sections of this like I did initially, and I'm just gonna braid it up so it combats shrinkage and it also um, keeps my hair detangled. but I'm not going to let it completely dry like this. Okay, so I'm going to do each section like this and I'll be right back. So as you can see, I did all the sections just like I showed you. And now I am going to blow dry since it's winter time and I never like to keep my hair wet, especially overnight. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna show you how I blow dry it. I'm just gonna take down these sections, starting with the left side because I just finished this side. I'm gonna use uh, medium heat for this. dry now still a little bit damp but not too bad and this is what it's gonna look like and I'm just gonna do the same thing on the other side this is definitely like a big kind of fluffy flowy um, kind of look so yeah I'm gonna get started on the other side
probably about 75% dry right now. Probably go over it one more time with a blow dryer just in some areas, but then I'm just gonna let the rest of it air dry and then I'll come back to show you what that looks like. So this is my hair 100% dry. I would say it took about an extra hour, hour and a half to dry, but the blow drying definitely did help a lot. As you can see, my hair is pretty fluffy and defined and soft, and I'm very happy with my results. What do you guys think? If you've made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. I'll see you in the next video.